The Life is Great New England Hollywood tour continues, and this is a phenomenal spot because I'm sitting next to a Hollywood mogul by the name of Alex Sulkin. A, I'm going to call you a genius because you have been a mastermind behind Family Guy, uh, behind the movie Ted, behind the movie A Million Ways to Die in the West. It all comes from upstairs, and I think it all started on the mean streets of Weston, Mass. That's right. Yeah, I, I, I could argue with you about the term genius, but I'll let you. I'll, I'll let it slide. <laughs> Just let it go. Time. I'll let it slide. Just let this it time. go. Pretty early on, uh, you know, back in the school days, I was always kind of like the class clown type kid, and uh, I think I more than that, I realized that. Um, you know, my options doing other stuff just seemed like terrifying and boring and like I didn't, you know, I couldn't picture what else I was going to do if it wasn't like maybe, I think at that point I, I was hoping that I was going to be an actor of some kind. But then I kind of grew into thinking, you know, maybe I have a face made for radio and I'd be <laughs> on the uh, writing side of things. So. Uh, yeah, early on I figured I'd do that. I used to write for my school papers and, you know, get in trouble for writing things that were too racy. And uh, <laughs> so Family Guy seems like a good fit in that way. But uh, yeah, no, I, I, I knew that I wanted to be out here from, you know, high school, I would say. Getting that first paid writing job is, is tough. Um, because, you know, there, there's a whole subculture of agents out here and managers and, of course, the Catch-22 is there. They don't want to have anything to do with you until you have employment, but you kind of need them to get employment. Um, but basically, the, the toughest was, um, you know, getting that first paid gig out here uh, was definitely a few years of, of waiting in New York City. I was doing stand-up there for, for no money. and. Uh, Luckily, the Late Late Show with Craig Kilborn came along and uh, was able to get a job there. And, uh, you know, then it's been pretty steady since then. In Family Guy's history, as, as fans of the show know, it was um, briefly canceled uh, and then brought back because uh, the DVD sales were so robust. But in that period when Family Guy was canceled, which was, you know, 2002, 2003, we worked together on a Fox show called The Pits, very short-lived, aired only a few episodes, but we were both on that staff. We're about the same age. Um, we became friends on that staff. We used to go do karaoke together. Um, and so, you know, he drunkenly said to me, you know, oh, if Family Guy ever comes back, I'm gonna hire you on the show. And I'm thinking to myself, like, there's no way that's gonna happen. Sure enough, it came back and he hired me and, uh, you know, I've been there for nine years. It's great working with him because he's always going to contribute. He's really a home run hitter when it comes to comedy. He takes big swings and, um, you know, he succeeds. He's less less Sam Horn, more David Ortiz. See, not only can he write genius comedy bits, <laughs> he can tell you who Sam Horn is. That's right. And know for sure that Sam Horn was a bust. All right, he was. Very nice to hear. Thank you. Ted was laugh out loud hysterical. Oh, thanks. Anyone that didn't laugh in that movie, something's wrong with them. I agree. And Ted 2 is coming, is that Ted correct? Ted 2 is coming. Uh, we're, we're just finishing the script now, and we'll be back in Boston uh, this summer filming it, uh, end of July, August. And uh, yeah, really excited you, to get going with that. Can you give us a little uh, life, a peek into the life of Ted too? Sure. Well, you know, Ted um, has not changed his ways because uh, the first movie was so successful. Why would we have him change his ways? Um, but yeah, it's going to be, you know, their lives a couple years uh, down the road and they're starting to deal with different issues of like, you know, does Ted want to maybe get married to his girlfriend? How is he going to have kids? Can he? Um, so we're going to look at a lot of that kind of stuff. Is and there's a road trip kind of thrown in there. Oh, phenomenal. Yeah. Now, is Tammy back? Oh, yeah, Tammy is back. Yeah, I'm glad. A lot of people really liked her, and she was great. 
Um, so she's back. She has an even bigger part in this one. Does she have any Boston background at all? You know, she, she doesn't. Had... She doesn't. She did a really good job with the accent, which, as we know, it's it's hard to do. You know, sometimes people really mess it up. Um, so, no, she did a great job, and that's why she's back, and her, her part's even bigger. And uh, she and Ted have a very fun, almost sort of Raging Bull-style relationship that we, <laughs> we get into there at the beginning.